In this video, we will be covering the duties of the ballot judge. The ballot judge distributes ballots and audits the ballot supply throughout the day. As a ballot judge, you will play a critical role in the balancing of polling place statistics by accurately collecting voters' receipts and issuing ballots. As a reminder, ballots are delivered to the polling place in shrink wrap packs of roughly 50 ballots. When you open a pack, two judges must count the ballots in the pack. If the number does not equal 50, count the ballots a second time to verify. Record the number of ballots in each pack on the back of the polling place ballot certification form. Once you have audited the number of ballots in the pack, start initialing a small amount of ballots to prepare for the upcoming voters. The goal is to minimize the amount of pre-initialed ballots that do not ultimately end up getting used, because these ballots are considered valid ballots. To review, after a voter reads the oath and signs either the registered or non-registered roster, the voter is issued an initialed voter receipt and is directed to the ballot judge to receive a ballot. Registered voters will be issued blue receipts, while non-registered voters are issued yellow receipts. When a voter approaches with an initialed receipt, collect the receipt. Issue the voter an initialed ballot. Make sure that the ballot is initialed by two judges prior to distributing it to the voter. Check your statistics throughout the day. Store the receipts in separate piles, one for blue and one for yellow. Bundle these piles in groups of 25 numbering each on the upper left-hand corner. An election judge will keep track of the number of blue and yellow receipts on the hourly tracking sheet. Compare that number to the public counter on the ballot counter when no voters are waiting to insert their ballot. This will verify that the number of voters match the number of ballots that have gone through the ballot counter. Remember to count any voters who are in the process of voting their ballots, as this will make your receipt number more than your ballot counter number. The number of blue receipts should match the number of signatures on the registered roster, while the number of yellow receipts should match both the number of completed voter registration applications and the number of completed lines on the non-registered roster. Along with distributing ballots, it is the job of the ballot judge to monitor the voting equipment. Pay attention to voters who have their ballots returned by the ballot counter. Inform these voters that they should review the ballot for possible mismarks, example overvotes and crossover votes and that the reason for rejection could be shown on the ballot counter LCD screen. Do not review the rejected ballot unless requested by the voter to do so. If the voter is still present, spoil her ballot and issue her a replacement. Ballots that are damaged and or cannot be run through the ballot counter must be duplicated if the voter has left the polling place. If this occurs, please refer to the duplication process in Chapter 7 of the Reference Guide. For the ballot marking device, make sure that the headphones are only plugged in when they are being used by a voter. Be sure that voters are not confusing the ballot marking device with the ballot counter. Voters should be directed to place the ballot in the ballot counter when finished with the ballot marking device. Any ballots left in the ballot marking device are considered abandoned ballots and must be spoiled. A voter may have a ballot spoiled for any reason at any point before it is accepted by the ballot counter. When spoiling a ballot, place the old ballot in the spoiled ballot envelope and issue the voter a new initial ballot. If a ballot is found anywhere in the polling place except in or on top of the ballot counter, that ballot must be spoiled. On the top of the ballot, write the location of where the ballot was found, then place the abandoned ballot in the spoiled ballot envelope. Record this situation on the election day journal. This type of spoiled ballot may cause the statistics for the precinct to be off because the number of signatures on the roster and receipts will be higher than the number of ballots that have been run through the ballot counter. The notation in the Daily Journal will explain this discrepancy. For further information on ballot judge duties, please read through Chapter 7 of the Ramsey County Elections Polling Place Reference Guide. Mm -hmm.